Hi guys! So we're going to do a daily card and energy clearing. My name is Lindsay and I do healings for Twin Flames and Lightworkers. So if you like more healing videos, please subscribe to the channel. <laughs> and please like and share this video as well. Okay, so we're going to use the unicorn cards today. <sighs> this week, I'm just feeling so much energies. Oh, uh, this is the card. We're going to do two cards, I'm getting, so we're going to do two cards. <laughs> so today we're going to do Twin Flame healing for you and, yeah, you and your twin. Because what I was trying to say is that this week is really, really strong energy is coming through in relation of union. So it's a very powerful energy is coming through. Um, also, springtime, like April, is a really great time for manifesting and setting your intentions for the rest of the year. Because springtime is, you know, that's when the flowers bloom. That's like <laughs> Aries season. Aries is the first sign of, you know, the zodiac of astrology. So this is a good time to really plant the seeds and set your intentions of what you would like to create in your life. And that includes your union with your twin flame, right? What would you like? How would you like to feel? How would you like your relationship to be? It's all these really important questions. Okay. Card? Yes. So I got two cards. And there's going to be a twin flame healing first card is the discernment. Oh yeah, I forgot to say so. <laughs> I'm calling God, Source, Universe, your angels and guides in the highest beings of infinite love and infinite light. And if you'd like to receive this healing for you, your twin flame, your loved ones, the collective and beyond, and please comment below that you're open to receiving. So the first card is the discernment card. It says, all is not what it seems. Stay true to your nerve. Stay true to your knowing. Keep your dreams a secret. And then the second card says growth. Seek out a mentor or guide. Take baby steps as you grow. Be willing to learn from others. Okay, so I'm going to just tune in and see where we're going here. Ah, okay. So I'm feeling some sadness. Sadness in relation to feeling misunderstood. So it has to do with people not getting you or understanding union or understanding twin flames in general. Uh, so we're going to, I'm laughing because it can relate to this, right? So sending love to these parts of you that feel really sad, really hurt, really angry by people telling you things about your twin flame or about twin flames or saying that twin flames are a joke or they're not real or you should get over your twin or you forget about them you should move on already you know all of that stuff there's a lot of anger in here so we're gonna send love to you and your twin also it has to do with this belief that true love is not real so we're gonna send love to this parts of you and the parts of your twin that don't believe in love don't believe in true love don't believe that there actually can be a person out there for you a, a divine counterpart right it's just make believe, it's just fairy tale. So, we're gonna send love to these parts of you that are really sad and hurt and out of alignment to love. It's just the out of alignment because they're not really ever out of alignment because you are love. It's just the belief in this the illusion. So, we clear the illusions and allow you to feel more of that um, alignment to love that is already there. <laughs> okay. So healing this wound, the wound of true love is not real. Also, there's another thing to connect to that. It's like true love is not for me. So parts of you is like true love's not even real. And then there's other parts of you that is true love. If it was real, it isn't for me. <laughs> I don't deserve it. So let's send love to these parts of you <laughs> and parts of your twin. Now I'm feeling a lot of anger and more anger coming up. It's like, I'm so angry at myself. It's why do I keep blocking love? Why do I keep blocking love? So there's a party that's really frustrated. I'm like, I'm doing all this work. I'm healing and healing and healing. Why is there so many blocks? So many blocks. So angry. <laughs> so ridiculous. <laughs> so I love to the parts of you that are very frustrated. Uh. 
how much more of this healing do I have to do? I just want to be with my twin already. <laughs> so let's send love to their inner child, any parts of you that's really impatient, really angry, like... Uh, <laughs> I'm saying it's okay, it's okay, right? Sign love. Okay, I'm just going to see where else we're going. Also, message coming through is to take it one step at a time. Because I'm also feeling parts of you are feeling very, really overwhelmed with all this, all of, <laughs> just sometimes twin flame, twin flames, it can be overwhelming, right? A lot of our emotions come up, a lot of wounds come up, a lot of pain come up, a lot of stuff comes up. And also, the more and more your twin, you and your twin flame come closer and closer, like energetically closer or even physically closer, it brings up even more things, right? <laughs> So it can be overwhelming. It can seem like it's very overwhelming. So let's just bring you back more into your heart and you and your twin back into your heart so you can feel the truth. You can know what's real and what's not real. What's real is the love for you, the love that they have for you, and the love that you have for them. That's the truth, right? The truth is you are one. The truth is that you are love. You are divine love. You are beautiful love. You are amazing love. <sighs> That's feeling much better. And also another message really coming through through is to really listen to your heart, right? Sometimes we will hear other people's beliefs, we hear other people's opinions, and although they might be seemingly like they mean well, and I'm sure some of them do mean well, right? They just want they want you to be happy. So if they think that you're suffering and they think that you're miserable, they're going to be like, just forget about them or whatever they say, right? Like, just move on, just find someone else. <laughs> It's like things like that so you have to listen to yourself though right listen to your heart and you make that choice that you make that choice for yourself right always listen to you and you will know what's best for you you will always know what's best for you and you choose and you make your choices from the heart space so that's very important. I'm feeling like there's a lot of people, like kind of like at a crossroads almost. They're making really making some big choices right now in their life and kind of feeling confused as to what to do, what steps to take. So that's a big message is to listen to your heart. Listen to your heart and you're going to know. You're going to feel it really strongly inside of you if you take time to really connect to the your heart space. And... Ask for help, right? Ask ask for guidance. If you if you're feeling stuck, then ask your guides and angels to help you to feel more of your heart, or or if you need help or guidance to f to ask them what your next step should be, and then you feel the answer in the heart. <laughs> so yeah, this is a big message about learning to really come more into your heart and living from your heart than ever before, because. There's just so much noise out in the world, right? Like, everyone has their opinions. Everyone has their beliefs. And that is what makes life beautiful, right? We all have our own expressions. We all have our own unique expressions and our own unique viewpoints and the, our own unique perspectives of, you know, what we experience. And then we're going to experience and view life in that way through that lens. So being in our heart can really help us to appreciate other people's perspectives, take it into consideration, but always most important, you want to filter it through the heart, right? And you, you know what's best for you always because your life is not anyone else's. It's your unique life. It's your unique experience. So it's very important. So I thank you so much. <laughs> um, yeah, make sure if you are wanting Twin Flame Union or you feel guided to <laughs> really take it to the next level, you can get the healing download I made for this week. It's below. It's called Twin Flame Union Healing. And we go really deep in clearing any blockages and fears and things like that to, to, are allowing, to allow you to come more fully into union with your Twin Flame. So if you like that, you can check it out below. Or if you want to get a one-on-one -on -one session with me and we can help you to clear anything, 
that is not love and bring you more fully into alignment with your heart <laughs> and allow you to be more in your power we can work on lots of things so twin flame related things light worker related things like empowerment helping you to use your gifts and abilities more right your psychic gifts your intuitive gifts um, things like that if you need help with healing things or a lot of times people um, twin flames they have to deal with like curses or dark energies or psychic attacks or whatever it is that you're going through and you feel like you need some help and support um, let me know and we can get a session and I can totally help you with anything that you are going through and you like some support and some powerful energy work because <laughs> when you clear and heal things on the energetic level oh my gosh it will it really speeds up the process like big time like major big time you can heal years and years and lifetimes worth of things in just one session it's very powerful and uh, let me see the question of the day is question of the day is how often do you listen to your heart <laughs> How often do you take time to listen to your heart? And if you do, <laughs> how long does it take you to take action? <laughs> oh my gosh, these this questions are really going to make you like <laughs> be clear on <laughs> do you actually listen to your heart and do you actually take action? <laughs> it's a very, very, uh, very powerful question. So if you'd like to share below, I would love to hear it. And um, yeah, thank you so much and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.